And let's take a look now at some more functions in the Remove tab. So we're going to start up a, uh, a new project, open up our clips, which is going to be the Water Drops movie, and take our frame offset to 1. Our pixel aspect ratio is 1 as well, so that's HD. And we're going to hit OK. And let's just give this a name. Cool. All right. So uh, let's take a li little look at our clip here. All right. So one of the first things you'll see if we move into the clip tab here, uh, the width is 2048 by 1152. Um, so this is slightly bigger than the HD frames we've been working on previously. Uh, this was shot on red, so that's why we've got our 2K um, image file. All right. Uh, the other thing that you'll notice, let's have a little look here. The whole purpose of this project here is to remove... We, I like the splash. Splash is good, but we need to remove these water dot drops that come along as the glasses fall down. Now, this could be quite a, uh, a laborious and tedious job, so we're going to use Mocha to, uh, to make it a lot easier. Now, it might be easier just for our preview purposes to try and, you know, get a bit more contrast in this shot, but obviously we can't do that just with the uh, gamma correction thing up here, so we're going to have to come into our color space in our clip. We're going to change this to log. We've seen, we've seen this done before now. Uh, so change it to log. Take my white up there. Bring the black up as well. So we're just cranking up the contrast a little bit here so we can see the, um, the drops a little bit easier. So we're going to do All a right, remove so, on this. Um, so we've got to do you know, two things as we did before. We need to create a, uh, let me go to our track. So we need to create a background plate and we need to create shapes for the things that we want to remove. So the, uh, the drops here. So let's start with our background plate first. Let's come in here. Just going to select that there. Here we go. Okay. So we've got, you know, something that's standing in for our background here. Of course, as the glasses fall down, it's all going to get a little bit trickier here. So what I'm going to do is just add another shape in here. So it's just adding a spline into our layer. So that we look at the mask there or the mat there. We um, have actually cut that out from what we're going to be tracking. Background track, okay, and let's um, come off here. We only don't only need translation. We only need small motion because you know it's a locked off shot. It's meant to be no motion in it at all. Of course, that's fine. So let's uh, let's track that through. Okay, I'm going to stop that there because I wanted to show you something else of that uh, a little bit later. So let's turn the tracking off on that, turn the background track off there. Let's find a water drop. So we're going to track this one here. So I'm going to take it right down to the near the end. There we go. Cool. So create a new layer. I'm going to use the X spline. Keep it fairly loose. And I only want translation and scale going on there. So I just want to make sure that this is covered. Drop one track. Cool, everything else is fine. Let's track that backwards. Okay. 